Hello, this is Drew the driver with Ride Into Cash. And I just wanted to talk to you about how I go out and charge scooters. So I make between, now this is when I put the time in, when I dedicate what I'm like determined. Between, I make between $150 and $220 a day in five to seven hours charging scooters. So I go around, sometimes I'm walking, I, I scan the, the, the little code when it's available to charge. I bring the scooter home, I plug it in, because I have chargers from, from Lime By Company for Lime Ass Scooters and from Bird uh, Scooter Company. I have, actually I have a total of nine Bird Scooter Chargers and only three Lime, uh, Lime Ass Chargers. So if I had more chargers, I could actually make even more money. But right now I'm capped at not too many because I don't, I don't want to like collect more scooters than I can charge. And uh, so that kind of limits me a little bit. The most I've done so far in one day was 30 scooters and it was, I pulled 205 for that particular day. But if I put the time in, like right now I have, I don't know, 22 scooters and charging and they're already pretty much fully charged that's worth $145 right now. And I did not spend that much time on it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is mostly available for people who live in areas where the two different scooter companies are, are out and about. So if you're in California, there's a lot of places that have it. Uh, if you're not in one of these zones, if you've never even heard of a Lime scooter or a Bird scooter, then unfortunately it's not available for you. But if you have and you do see them a lot, there's an opportunity to make some money. And honestly, most people almost kind of look down on people like, oh, what are you, why are you doing that? Blah, blah, blah. Is it really worth it? And they don't understand when you work a job that's like subcontract work where you have total independence, uh, you make really good money. Now it's gross pay, meaning you have to calculate your own uh, expenses like gas and uh, tools you might buy or what have you uh, so that you can write it off at the end of the year because you're going to be full taxed and in most situations it's close to around 30% of what you're making you have to pay in tax. Now if you have write-offs like all your mileage to and from different places you can bring that uh, taxable income much lower. So say you bring 10 grand in a year which you could make even more than that uh, and you spent five grand and um, you did enough miles to justify a $5,000 deduction, then you're only taxed at the 5,000 remaining, which is a huge reduction. So instead of potentially three grand over the 10, it's only 1,500 over the five taxable. Uh, and this is, I'm not a tax expert, don't take my words as advice. You wanna contact professional, um, attorneys or or your your tax person i don't know i don't know what you call them. A, like a bookkeeper or someone at hr block or something but yeah you can make really good money charging scooters and it's it could be supplemental where you add on or your main thing it just depends on how much time you want to dedicate to it uh ideally it would be best if you had a car or a truck suv or van would be the most ideal situation because then you can just load them up, keep the doors locked. Uh, a truck, there is slight risk of you load up the scooters as you're picking them up and then you, as you go get another, someone could try to take it out of your truck. I haven't had that happen luckily. And I'm working on trying to find a good type of lock, like a, a long chain that I can wrap and have each of them secure while I'm, while I'm looking. But I also drive a Ford Fusion, so I can load, max I've had 10, 11 scooters in my uh, Ford Fusion Allbirds. Uh, but average is uh, six to eight at most. So uh, I, I go out in either or. There's no, I don't have like a set routine on how I pick them up. So uh, sometimes I'm out in like the Pacific Beach or Mission Beach area, which is the beaches in San Diego, California. And there's a lot of scooters out there. So I'll park and then go find one. And then I'll ride that to another, load that on. And then right to another. The most I had was two on top of one I'm riding. And now be safe. Wear a helmet. I even have a vest to make it look a little more official. 
and because you're in the street, uh, you you want to be seen. So be careful. Um, like I said, I have a vest, a helmet, just to be safe. And it is a little risky when you load up multiple scooters because you can't control it as easily. But when you do that, then you can cruise it back to your car, drop off the ones that were extra, and then use one of the scooters to then go get more. And there was a day, I think it was last Friday night, it was early evening, it was like, I don't know, six or seven, scooters started becoming available because they were low battery. So I swept up 11 in an hour. I think it was it was 7.30 to 8.30 Friday night, and I picked up 11 scooters worth 70 bucks or something. It was a pretty good haul. And then later on in the night, I picked up even more with my truck, and then I dropped them off the next day. So it was, it was a good run. Yeah, overall, scooter charging can make you money. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to respond to it. Um, don't, like... You have the potential to make that much money, $150 to $220 in a day, when you do both companies and when you have a solid amount of charging charging cables. Uh, I have nine of the Bird because three of which are, are my uh, my old roommate. He did the Bird scooters first to charge them, but then he kind of stopped, so he let me use them. And I started doing it, which gave me three. And then I switched to Mechanic, which he sent me three more. So I have a total of nine from that. But I've requested more in their backlog, so they can't actually send out more yet. If you don't have a lot of chargers, don't overdo it. You don't want to be in a situation where you pick up a scooter that you can't actually charge and drop off the next morning. So start off small and wait until you get more chargers and then work on even more and more of them, okay? So because you do, if you do both companies, you can make money. It does look like Lime has changed up where... At night, instead of making them all available, all the scooters available for people to pick up, at a certain hour, they just turn off the majority of them. So no one can get them. You can't collect it and you can't ride it after a certain point. And only ones that are like actually low battery or much further out in the area where they're not going to be found and ridden by a regular person, those are available. So I used to make a lot with Lime, not as much now. And that's fine because they actually raised the price. So I'm making more per instead of a large amount of them and less money. So uh, it's still pretty cool. Yeah. Um, cool. If you want to do this, I highly encourage it. And, you know, most people have told me, why are you telling people about this? Why do you want to make more competition for yourself? Because it is a competition to go find scooters. Like you could be rolling up. And then another truck or a car, they roll up or someone runs and they snag it. I am all for telling people about ways to make money. I am all for people getting out of their like tough situations and making side money, charging scooters is a way to do it. So if you need to find a way to make extra money because you're in hard times or you're doing well, but you like to work hard, do it. You know, I don't care. If, I, ca I care about people getting ahead. I don't care that there's extra competition. It's not a big deal to me. You know what? If I make a little less every time as time moves on, that's not a big deal. Um, I, all that means is more people are making more money. So I'm cool with that. All right. It was great talking to you. Uh, yeah. You should sign up for Lime scooters and Bird scooters to charge them and can possibly make up to 200 bucks a day. So logging out. Bye.